Hoof. That was a tough one, she sighed. She gazed up at the sunny sky and she walked towards the tree. I have found a spider's web. And let me see. Yes, it has eight legs, children. The spider has eight legs, children. And a mouth and tiny eyes too. Well, spider, I can see you're busy with your cob web, said Rina so. She left him to do his work. Hey, what's that buzz, buzzing sound? It's a bee. Then it's an yellow and black. She tried to catch it, but it trilled and buzzed away before she could sway. Rina ran home to ride what she saw. The next day, Rina told the teacher that the honeybee, the butterfly and all bugs could fly. But there were... Creepy crawly creatures to miss like a caterpillar and different kinds of worm, ma'am. Rina said there was these within thin legs like the grasshopper and ant and the spider. The teacher was very happy to see that Rina had got a ladybug and an earthworm. Good girl, well done, said the teacher. Children, what is the moral of the story? There are certain things which are same that Rina saw in insects. So children, what are the things that are same between you and your friends? Everybody has two eyes, two ears, two hands, one nose, two legs. Isn't it children? So all these things are same. Okay, what makes you different? One child is having curly hair and another child is having straight hair. Isn't it children? One person is tall and another person is short. So children, each one of you are very special. This is the moral of the story. Okay, your assignment. What is your assignment? Spot the difference. Children, you have to spot the difference by seeing these insects. Okay, children. Bye, children. Take care. Have a great day.